the best way to get comfortable using RTL and PXML expressions is to first go about and examine how they're used in some common uses. And then when you start needing to do more specific advanced formatting or advanced expressions, you can first look at these common uses and then modify them to meet your needs. So the first one I'm going to look at is string concatenation. If I want to concatenate two data items, what I would do is I'd first identify the first data item. For example, header.firstName, a data item I get from my data view. I want to trim it, so I apply the trim method. And then I use the plus sign. I'm going to add a single white space. And then I use the plus sign again. And then I'm going to add the header.lastName. And I'm going to trim that as well. Another common use is conditional values. So for example, this is going to be setting the color property on perhaps a word box or a decimal format box. Uh, this would probably be a decimal format box because it's examining the profit value. If it's less than zero, if that's equal to true, then they want to color it red. Otherwise, they want to color it black. Another common use of RTL expressions is when you're sizing fields when you're figuring out its X size or Y size, depending upon its uh, location and what its parent container is. One of the common things to do is to say, well, I want to size it so it's large enough for its caption or it's large enough for the largest data value. So in this example, we're dealing, let's say we're dealing with a table column that is the character 20. What is, we're doing here is we're saying, okay, I want the masks of either the width of, and we're passing in, our field dot caption, so we're passing in the caption that's sent across in the XML data stream, or I want it to be the width of 20 M spaces. As far as editing RTL and PXML, you've seen me do this many times, but what you need to do is you need to place your cursor on the field, and that's going to enable the FX button. When you click on the FX button, it's going to enter the RTL expression editor. And from that point, you can type in your expression. Next to it, you'll notice a button with a red circular arrow. Be careful with this button, because this button restores it to its default value. One nice thing about using the RTL and PXML edit expression editor is that it's going to give you feedback as you type along. So if you're typing along and you enter in something that's not valid, it, it tells you that there is an error, it also identifies what are the possible valid values that it expects you to type instead of typing that error symbol. If you're doing it correctly, and once you've completed an expression, it's going to give you the expression OK message. As you're entering in an RTL expression, you may come to a point where you're not sure what to enter next, or you don't quite remember the name of a function, or you want to see what your options are. You can hit the Control plus Space bar. By pressing Control and then pressing Space, it's going to open up the Code Completion Editor. And this Code Completion Editor provides in a drop-down list box what the next valid values are going to be for the expression as it currently sits inside of your expression editor. So when do you need to use these? Well, if your property value is going to be calculated at runtime, you need to use an RTL expression. If you're determining a dimension type, such as a coordinate or a size, you need to use a PXML expression. This has provided you with an overview of building expressions using both RTL and using PXML. One of the tips that I tend to give people is if you're starting out with Report Writer, go ahead and use like the list report template. And within that template, go in and see what RTL expressions and what PXML expressions we've provided for you as part of the default. So when you drag items across, when you switch between the table column title object and a table column data object, go out there and identify and look through and see what the RTL and what PXML expressions have been provided for you as part of Genera Report Writer. That can give you a good starting point for going out and creating your own expressions.